हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डेटा सेंटर गुरु नॉलेज प्लेटफॉर्म नोइंग ए टू जेड ऑफ डेटा सेंटर सो टुडे आई एम बैक विद वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ऑपरेशनल सस्टेनेबिलिटी प्रोसेस सो प्रोसेस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशनल सस्टेनेबिलिटी वी विल बी टॉकिंग इन दिस सेशन सो एज आई टॉक इन माई प्रीवियस सेशन अबाउट फोर पीज द फोर पिलर्स which is people process products and partners and uh, we i said we will be doing some kind of deep dive into all these uh, peace so in my last session i talked about people this session i am talking about process so as you know process is something which binds all these pillars together and running the operations you can run also through the people only but when you talk about running the operation uh, sustainability effectively efficiently and uh, that's how this process embedment come into the picture and uh, even if you want to further drive or further enhance your effectivity using technology so before using technology the first thing is the process because technology only enables or automate the processes whatever you have defined so process part is very very important and uh, i hope during this session i am going to talk about process what are the other elements of the process how do we develop the process what are the different elements which we need to consider to develop the process and uh, finally we'll talk about the technology part of it so when we talk about process so there are other three pieces comes into the picture so i did some kind of uh, research and uh, say because all these three p policy process and procedures they are also interrelated and which helps you achieving your operational objectives and all these pieces policies process and procedure all these three things are different and you must understand what are what is the difference what are the difference between all these three so the policy is a like a rule or a principle or a guidelines which you create to meet certain objectives so under policies there are set of processes so once you start following the process you do the process compliance then you meet the policy requirement and the process is something which is a step by step instruction based task you write so it becomes easier for people to follow it so policy is a rule so how do you follow the rule so policy is always talks about what what's need to be followed process is something it talks about how do we follow what is the root to it and procedure is exactly how i am going to follow the detailed instruction based process so one policy like one objective may have multiple policies and one policies may have multiple processes and similarly one process may have multiple procedures to meet so this complete chain gives you that effectivity or efficiency what we look at as a part of operational sustainability program so when we talk about how do we write how do we develop these four piece so what i have done is i have created a broader level of framework and the flow step by step flow so that you understand it more easily and then you can be able to develop these three pieces more effectively so first stage is again assessment phase i have been talking since starting of this session assessment assessment is just checking the current state checking the requirement right 
तो सिमिलरली फॉर ऑपरेशनल सस्टेनेबिलिटी यू अंडरस्टैंड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कस्टमर एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ कस्टमर फ्रॉम ऑपरेशनल सस्टेनेबिलिटी देन यू अंडरस्टैंड द करेंट डेटा सेंटर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हाउ इट हैज बीन बिल्ट यू नीड टू हैव द एंटायर डॉक्यूमेंट इन टेक्निकल लैंग्वेज वी कॉल इट एज बिल्ट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन और एज बिल्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो हाउ द डेटा सेंटर हैज बीन बिल्ट द डिटेल डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑफ दैट साइड डिटेल्स सो वेर एवर द डेटा सेंटर बिल्डिंग इज सिमिलरली यू ऑल्सो नीड द ओपन रिस्क विथ इज रिलेटेड विथ the site and the building so that you can incorporate in your process to manage the risk and the partner the service partners are also important so you will already have lot of partners who help the customer in building the data center and they will have a role to play in during the operational sustainability period similarly they will have other service partners who will help you during the operational sustainability program so if we need to have understanding of it before moving to the next step so once you complete the assessment phase then you move to the next which is called kpi phase key performance indicators so what exactly we are doing in kpi phase is we are putting a measurable matrix for operational sustainability where you can be able to measure it measuring measurable kpis are very very important i i have seen in the past people just put it as a kpi 100% of time 100% of time of what calculated on what so people can say that this particular there is no uh, outage in my data center for last one year so 100% of time if there is something uh, there is a problem how do you measure so there are different set of matrices and i explained in my previous session on the kpi fund so you broadly if you define the kpis you have got uptime related kpis or availability related kpis which you put it for critical load what is the kpi critical systems so critical systems are always associated with redundant system or environmental outcome to your it equipment so they are called critical systems so what is the uptime you are expecting obviously 100% then the essential systems essential systems are more related with your redundant components so let us say one redundant component fail your there is no outage in your data center but you are running a high risk so you need to uh, uh, turn around and fix that problem as soon as possible so that so that comes under you are measuring that also that one of the ups has failed that means it falls under essential load capacity similarly support system your access control reader fails your building management not working your camera not working your fire alarm not working for some time so you are able to measure that comes under the support efficiency so there is a designed efficiency and there is a operational efficiency so what is the design efficiency and based on the specific load or the conditions what you have in the data center what do you have to have you are looking at uh, pue or efficiency of your data center and also operational efficiency what you are trying you set a goal then there are performance parameters so performance parameters are uh, the direct outcome of the performance is your availability so you need to measure those performance parameters to ensure that you achieve the outcome other if you don't measure it then outcome will get compromised you may not have a view but you will be getting a compromise and suddenly you will have outage and not realize so performance measurement is very very important obviously performance there are 
drill down multiple matrices which you have to put and put a weightage for each and every matrix. Then we are talking about quality. Uh, what are the different quality matrices which you are going to measure? Reporting, the frequency of reporting, type of reporting and dashboards, how you are going to generate. Once you have got the KPIs, that means requirement and objective of the operational sustainability you have broken up into measurable matrices which you will be tracking on a day to day basis and driving your all the other operational gears to meet it. Moving to next is the policy. So to meet these objectives you need to set the rules. So uh, there are a lot of customers they follow certain standard itself like in IT service management people say I will follow ISO 20000 framework. So it, it has already got defined lot of uh, policies and uh, process. You need to develop the procedures or even fine tune the processes. Similarly for data center operational sustainability, uh, uptime has got a standard they call it uh, operational sustainability standard. So it has also got a lot of defined policies which you need to layer with process and procedures to make it or you can develop all those policies uh, as per your requirement completely customized way and uh, then move to the next step. So if you want to drive the policies yourself, so some of the policies I listed out like safety policy, people policy, operational policies, maintenance policies, housekeeping policies and there are so many policies we need to develop and based on these policies once you develop then you need to break it up. How do you meet those policies? How do you comply to those laws, rules? So you write process. So in typically for um, operational sustainability program the broader processes what I could see is we call it SOP, Standard Operating Procedures, is the first thing. Whether it is a uh, safety policy or safety policy, uh, security policy or even uh, quality, there are standard operating procedures which you have to define. Similarly, you have to also define standard operating procedures for all the asset. How do you operate those equipments or the systems or the components on a day to day? So you have to write a detailed SOP for it. So detailed procedure for it. So that moves to the next. Similarly, MOP is method of procedure we call it and it is used for maintenance. So when you want to maintain any system, then how do you follow those procedures you write? So that is also applicable for all the systems and subsystems which is required to be maintained. You also define what is the frequency, so maintenance policy which you have defined very clearly. Similarly, emergency operating procedures. So normally based on the data center whatever you have built, you can define different emergency scenarios which may come up in your data center. And based on those scenarios, you can develop a process and procedure and also define roles and responsibilities. So whenever such situation happens, then the people around the data center or overall operational sustainability program has got a written procedures, process and procedures to deal with it. Then it is not going to be a surprise to the people and you know how to deal with it and you can prevent uh, hazardous or even um, uh, critical outage in your data center if you have the right UPS. We also recommend uh, drills for the UP on specific time intervals so that you know all the levers in the operational sustainability program are working or delivering their activities as per the plan what you have developed is part of you. Similarly, you develop processes for quality, safety and so on and so forth. 
and then in detail you come to procedure this is a very very important part because this is what will tell you how is it difficult to comply with the processes and procedures in today's scenario why almost all the data center operational sustainability programs are not process driven only because the procedures are not written properly so procedures has to be written step by step in simple language instruction based so that the guy who is going to follow doesn't have to use his mind he has to just follow the instruction based activities or task which is mentioned and the task also talked about if something is not happening as per the plan what is the plan so where to you have to retrieve back uh, to the system so procedure and the procedures are something which gets atom- uh, automated along with the processes and all we also recommend because these procedures in operational sustainability program of data center with respect to facilities are adhered by the most least qualified people who are technicians and all so we also recommend that those procedures should also be written in local language so that the technician can read and understand and follow it because you write the entire process procedures and if you don't follow it it is irrelevant it doesn't or it is not going to add any value so this is all about how you develop these three p's hope by following these step by step procedures you can be able to drill down and because this is the activity which is very very time consuming very cumbersome and if you want to develop a 4 5 10 megawatt data center operational programs it will take 4 4 months 5 months time to develop entire assessment to procedure part of it so you can imagine the kind of involvement which is there and detailing which is required to develop this now moving to next is very very important aspect apart from this policies and procedures is the management aspect management systems so for operational sustainability there are six blocks which is very very important to take care of so incident management you have to develop the process and procedures around incident management systems similarly you have to develop process and procedures around problem management system change management systems capacity management system asset management system and knowledge management or training management because the people who are working on the site has to be well versed well trained well skilled to do their job today 74% of the data center outages are attributable to human error and you can imagine how you can reduce that human error and what is the scope of optimization in this particular scope so these management systems will help you because incident management will capture all the incidences and track it till closure problem management will create a database so that you know what the problem you do the root cause analysis and you try and proactively avoid such kind of incident change management is very very important part in the data center whatever changes happens whether it is a, a hardware deployment or whether you make any changes in the data center has to be first analyzed for what is the impact of the change approved then only somebody should uh, implement the change and then update your documentation accordingly very important because this is something part which i don't see similarly asset management uh, and which is associated with the maintenance management also which goes along and asset management how do you uh, upkeep the assets how how do you keep your assets healthy all the time how do you enhance the life of your assets these are 
these are the things which covers under asset management system and the knowledge management i already talked about capacity management you must track and see how the capacity is uh, design versus actual is being uh, deployed and monitored very closely because the capacity plus minus can co- cause havoc in your data center so these are the four uh, six knowledge or management areas for that also you need to develop the pol- uh, process and procedures so that all these things are taken care of then coming back to when you develop those sops and eops and mops what are the elements of the data center building because when i talked about systems of systems and assets so you need to make sure because why it is more detailed and time consuming is because if you see data center building law on the broader way these are the things i have written so you have to develop the sop mops for all this and each and every system has got another 100 component in the systems and for everything you have to develop you have to create understand different scenarios create a process and procedures for it so that's what i have put in a uh, sequential manner how do you develop so first identify the systems or the asset or the purpose for which you are developing the process then develop a process flow first then write step by step instruction based tasks and activities define controls so where are different control point where you need to check before moving to the next step very important because if you don't check and move to the next step you may not be able to retrieve back and it has got negative repercussion on your data center operations set responsibilities very clearly who has to do what people has to have a clarity who has to do what in the entire process and procedures then get the entire thing reviewed by the quality team update if there is any change and then train the people around that and then release it and let the people start following it similar way you develop mops and eops so mop is one or two step here and there so same way you need to find asset system purpose and then create process flow step by step here also plan to retrieve because whenever you are doing a maintenance so x activity outcome is what abc whether you are getting abc or not you will check then next step outcome def whether you are getting it or not if you are not getting then you need to follow plan b and retrieve back you need to recheck the systems before doing the maintenance again otherwise you will be uh, um, inviting risk of outage in your data center similarly eop identify emergency scenarios so that you need to analyze based on what kind of data center which you have built and then you create the flow activity task rasky matrix and then you release it so this is all about the processes so if your entire data center operation sustainability program becomes process driven then you can eliminate 74% of the human error you can eliminate the people dependency skill dependency individual dependency most importantly if you have got well defined process and procedures it becomes very easy to automate you can automate it and run the show you can drive huge amount of because when we talk about automation we are talking about software defined data center where we are still struggling with dci itself right so this is something which is going to help you going in long run so with this i end my session on the process i would be talking in my next session the technology aspects of operational sustainability so how technology pillar or in 4p concept we call it product 
so how product or technology pillar drive effectivity in the operation sustainability program so that we will talk in subsequent session on 26th july with this i have come to the end of this session and as usual i hope you are enjoying these sessions and liking it finding it fruitful and you are able to uh, use it in your day to day activity or the purpose and able to enhance some kind of productivity or some kind of value for your organization so keep on encouraging me keep on supporting me keep on giving the feedback on the improvements and i would be coming out with such kind of sessions uh, as i used to come on every week continuously will come so with this thank you very much have great day great evening great morning shabakha tata and bye bye